Hello guys, I'm Adnan Geta from Eden AI and today we'll see how to parse image which means like extract data automatically from images without any human interaction. Uh, so let's jump to it directly. Uh, we will be using a virtual environment to like to avoid to install packages globally which sometimes can like uh, break uh, system tools or some other packages available on the system. So for that we just have to do Python 3 dash MVM and we will call I will call my virtual environment. Let's call it my wonderful receipt parser. Now that the VM is created, let's activate it. Let's do source my VM being activated. Now it's activated. Let's first install Jupyter. So I'll do pipe install. Jupyter, okay, and we will be also installing rec the package requests because we are going to call an API. Okay, so let's get started. We will launch Jupyter notebook. Good, that's good. Okay, we will, we, I will explain after what those uh, directories and folders uh, are, why the directories and folders are here. Just for now, let's create a new file. So what we're gonna do is like we have like, uh, uh, we have some receipts, five receipts here that we will, uh, that uh, I gathered from uh, this website, Zenodo, which had data set of image receipts available for free. The, the receipts are on that are in Portuguese language and are available for to download. I already downloaded this uh, this uh, this for this package or folder, and I grabbed five uh, five images. And we parse. So we will using those five images to parse them, extract the data, and put the data on CSV CSV file, which can be handful from. Maybe if you have like, uh, for example, if you have uh, you have I don't know maybe a store or where you do a lot of receipts. And every day, like we want to keep all the receipts you have in the data set of CSV data set can be really handful. So let's see how to do it. You will be also using the Eden AI platform. Eden AI platform is an aggregator of many AI technologies from different providers like Google, Microsoft, um, Amazon, Mindy, and many others. You can see here that we have a lot of features here, like features for text like to do sentiment analysis, name it, entity recognition, and many others. Some for speech, like text speech to text or text to speech. And here for OCR, we will be using received OCR. Here we have also already a, a snippet of uh, code snippet that we can use directly, available on Python, on JavaScript, and you can use it with any other language. We will be using for this tutorial Python, of course. So let's get started to it. So we'll be importing both JSON and requests packages. So let's go here. Import JSON and requests. We'll be also importing CSV because we will need it after, like to write the data on the CSV file. We will be also importing the list there so, so we can list all the files that we have because we'll be going to do like to parse the five receipts and put all the five information in two CSV files, one for uh, one provider and another for the other provider. We will see this later. From also from os.path, let's import is file and join. Good. Now you start like by, if you see here, we need the key here, the header. I already have this available i will just copy and paste this here good create a new cell in the other cell like we have seen here we have to specify the url and you have to specify the data in which we, we specify the providers that we are gonna we're gonna use and also the language so let's just copy and paste both of them Okay, here, yeah, good. Like here we specify that we're gonna use the Aiden AI API for receipt parser, and we will be using both providers, Microsoft and Datalion, with the language Portuguese. Okay. 
So after that, we will write a quick script in which we will list all the like the files, the received images available in our uh, directory. So let's do it quickly. Received files. Let's say uh, let's see, specify the received folder. Sorry, which is here. OCR receipts. Okay. If you have a quick look here, sorry, ta ta ta. Alas, we are going to be here in the OCR receipts folder. Okay. And do a quick files equal to a list. We create a list. We do, do join. Join only like joins. Uh, joins is function that help you to create a quick path by joining like two separated paths. So we will join the receipts. Receipts folder with the receipt for receipt in list there the function that we imported is there inside the receipt folder if is file is file just help you like to check if it's actually a file or directory and you need only the files the five receipt images so we do a join 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 there's Sorry, the seat folder and the seat. Good. Nice, nice. I made a mistake here. Folder. folder. Okay, good. We can print the files here quickly to be sure. Print files. And we have here all the files here. We will be starting to do like simple one like print or maybe use only for this time only like data leon for example to see data leon so let's only for this time grab uh, if you go back on the NIA website like i would specify that i want to use like only portuguese language received with portuguese language you can see here that we have only three providers available for this language data leon microsoft and mindy and here with the prices that with each with each price so I guess we will be going with Data Leon and Microsoft. Here we have to do files and open the file that we want to parse. So let's do files equal to, sorry, file and use the open method available on Python. Specified files, now we got to grab just the first one here and open it in a read binary mode. R for read and B for binary. And we do the response uh, equal. I just copy past the function, which is of course the same here. After that, we will parse the result. Result equal. That's why that's why we imported the JSON package. So load response that text which deserialize the the json string a simple print of the result let's so I do here here i forgot the r and files of course because i had just to compile this and do this here create new one let's print the result here to print it in more readable formal you can use json dot dams the result and specify the indent to be two for example and you have here the result for both data leon and microsoft i forgot to recompile this but it's not doesn't matter we have both the result for both data leon and microsoft you can see for example for data leon that we have those information the invoice number the invoice total the date for example here we have the merchant informations the taxes etc and for microsoft you have the sum information plus the item lines which means each item with the price the quantity and the unit price of course so you can see that also both of the providers have technically the same dictionary keys here item lines which make it simple like to use the the same program for both providers or all the providers are using because like we provide standardized response for each providers so let's follow this so now we have here so what we'll be doing like as we said we are using all those files parse those files and try to like write them in csv file so to do this 
will be just doing now creating a way loop over all the receipts so to do this like we will doing each call for each receipt a call for the file and gather the response and like push it in the list we will be using two separate lists a list for microsoft provider and another list for the data Leon provider so let's go let's like let's for, for first initialize two set two lists like one for microsoft data another one for data leon data equal to this this two empty list okay now for loop for file in files so for each file of those files here we will be like calling the Aiden AI API receipt parser. So we will be doing files equal to that file. We will open this file in read binary mode. Okay, I'll be. After that, we call the same function here with the same headers and data, which mean for the same for both Microsoft and Data Leon and with the portuguese language we specify the portuguese language after that we will do result we will pass the result parse the result dot loads response dot text and after that we have we will be just like uh, pushing items inside both the data leon and microsoft data sets data lists sorry so we'll be just appending this list dot append We'll be here using result.dataleon to append data leon data and result.microsoft for the added data. So let's do it. Result of Microsoft and for data leon that dot append result of data leon. Good. Let's try this code. Yes, of course, I have to recompile this. I do this and after this and should be working I guess it will be take some time sometimes to like to compile because it's doing like uh, here uh, five APA calls each time with two providers we have the results here let's continue now that we have all the results I will be using a function like if you have seen here in the example that we have here uh, let me expand it like we have data leon you have the status and the extracted data and we are like more interested by the extracted data we need those data to put them on a csv file for both data leon and microsoft so we will be using two two separate csv files one for data leon another one for microsoft and we'll be like need to parse this dictionary to take all the information we need some information can be nested like here merchant name for example currency taxes etc also here in line in item lines maybe the description the quantity quantity so i will be using this function it's a recursive functions that like the tech to take the the dictionary that we from which like here extracted data from which we want to take the data the, the key for for example his is known because we have also the dictionary here we specify the keys that we want to keep for example i can say i want to have the invoice total and the costume name etc here and we have the new dictionary that we'll be using to like populate the csv file so let's assume you have this function good uh, create a new cell we will start maybe with the data leon so we will be first specify the header that we'll be using so the information that we'll be extracting from those the uh, from them from those those receipts so we will be using let me copy past this quickly. We'll be using the invoice total, the date also maybe, the merchant name and the taxes. That's it. Now we will also specify the file from me for the file in which we will write the data. So let's say data Leon CSV, data Leon CSV and give it the path, the path we can maybe not the part, only because of relative parts, so we just we need to give them the name of the CSV file because we are in the same folder. So let's pass it here. If we print here the data, data, Leon, that 
sorry, data layon, data. Those data we will like go through this data because this this list it contains a list of five receipts. We're going through receipt per receipt, and each receipt we try to write it in a new line in the CSV file. So first we will try to open the file with always using open. We will be opening the data Leon CSV this time in write mode as receipt data Leon. Let's use an S here because we have a lot of receipts, five receipts here. Okay, so first we will initialize a writer from the CSV uh, package that we imported here. So let's do CSV that dict writer we give the file here that we open it we opened as an argument and the headers which will be field names equal to what equal to the csv headers so those those th this is the header of the file and the, the data that the, our csv file will extract after that we will write writer we will write this header so we do right and uh, I guess it's like this and now we will loop over each receipt of those here receipts and write it line by line so we will be doing for receipt in let's see data Leon data uh -huh. what we're gonna do first we will like extract only only go to extract this dictionary because we don't need the status or the data leon so we will be in this dictionary it's not actually a dictionary it's a list so we will be gathering the first item which which is a dictionary here this one here so we'll be using receipt equal to receipt of extracted data of zero the first item now let's also use the receipts csv which be which will be here the new dictionary that will have only those informations invoice total date and margin name and taxes it will be first empty of course and we will call this function iterate true keys which the function which what will do will take this receipt here as an argument with its key we have a known key for this time it's a recursive function as i said we will specify the csv header the keys here like i said the keys that we want from which we want to take informations and the empty dictionary that we will populate with those information with the invoice total the date the march name and the taxes okay so after that we, we, why we can do this because there is because dictionaries in python are mutable like the i passed through reference so if even if you update it here like when you pass it here you like you are passing the the address in the memory and not the object itself so you can like update it here and will be updated also here so after calling this now we have this receipt key that will be populated with those information and what we have to do just to call the writer dot right right row of this new receipt csv we will do it we will do it for each receipt inside the data leon receipts okay after that we will just catch the exception except input output error if we didn't open the file right off there is any mistake and we print an error no actually we'll print the error exception and just print this error exception okay let's try to run this code ah we have fault here what said missing what i i'm a field's name i am mistaken here that and it works i guess so now what we have done what we have done is like like we we went through each of those like we create a new dictionary here with those keys and we print it in csv file if you want to check we can for example just do here receipt so i 
like we can print this in here receipts csv here you can see each for each receipt it only extract the invoice total the date the merchant name and the taxes and we, if you go check our csv file here which is data leon receipt here if you see guys we just do x x x dg open those data okay and they are extracted on this csv file uh, on the csv file but we have the headers here invoice total merchant name taxes and with all the informations great now we have done this for data leon let's do the same thing but now for microsoft okay we'll be using always the same function here here let's print uh, at the same time like we have microsoft data so I, I will copy just copy past this yeah the same data so we'll be doing the same thing for microsoft now so let's uh, copy past the same headers like here using them let's get the microsoft csv file csv just past this one here that indicate just the csv file here we will copy past the same function here okay and just change those stuffs so maybe change that alien csv here with microsoft put microsoft here here we'll be writing the header of course we'll be changing this here by writing the new header in this new file we will be get ex gathering the extracted data the same as before like if you check here of course even in my in microsoft you have like the status and the extracted data the date in which we are we want to extract data this time we also have like uh, item lines which contains description quantity amount and unit price for this tutorial we will be be taking only the first item to make it a little bit simple but of course we could have like started all the items on the csv file so for this let's also expand our csv header with description only of the first item quantity amounts and finally unit price okay unit price okay uh, so we were iterating do the same thing and write it on the file i think everything is good seems good let's run this i since we're here let's just rerun this microsoft csv ah yes because here we are printing this one yes here you have to use like the microsoft data which is this list like iterating through all the receipts of microsoft top pop and oh, that's it we have all here all the information each one it's it's time we have like a receipt csv containing invoice invoice total date merchant taxes description and the first item of the item lines which with with the first here i don't know the name the quantity the amount and the unit price so let's check if it really worked let's open it microsoft csv great and we have all the data here put in on into the csv file we have always the header here and the data here like we have the invoice total the dates and also for the quantity amount units price that we print on the csv file so thank you everyone everyone for watching if you have any question about this course just let me know on the comments below i will also try to like uh, put a link to some of the code i did, did here especially for the recursive function and if you have any question don't hesitate just let me know in the comments and see you bye bye for the next video